All right, the first thing I want to do is apologize for wearing sunglasses today, but it's one of the three days in wintertime in Minnesota that we actually get a little bit of sun. So if I got a chance, I'm putting these babies on and enjoying them. The question that we have today comes from Donald in North Virginia. He owns a lawn and landscape company. He drives a bobcat for a guy and gets paid pretty good. He's got a pretty good job, but he wants to upgrade and purchase his own truck and his own snowplow. He's wondering if he should do it and risk the, the maintenance and all the other headaches and hassles that come along with it. So there's a few things behind the scenes that I want to talk about in this question. He goes on at length to talk about his hey, bob- when my phone cuts me off mid-sentence. So he goes on at length about his bobcat experience and how many hours he's, uh, shut up Gracie, how many hours he spent running a skid loader. And I want to focus on that as well as his initial question. First off, should he buy a truck and a snowplow and expand his business? Yes. Why? Because if your business goes belly up, guess what? You still have a truck to drive. Some people just buy trucks just to drive trucks. Buy it at the right price and you can always resell it. It's no longer a liability, but it's an opportunity. It gives you an opportunity to expand your business and it gives you an opportunity if things don't work out that uh, you can sell it and so what? You had a truck for a while, no big deal. Second thing, the thing that I wanna talk about in this video, is the bobcat. He doesn't ask about a bobcat, but he talks about it a lot. And I get the feeling from him that ultimately he'd like to move into a bobcat. He'd eventually like to buy a bobcat. He talks about at one point being in a bobcat for 30 plus hours. What if that was his bobcat? In the video, in the question, he talks about making about $25 an hour. If you own your own bobcat and you're making $85 an hour and you sit in it at one time, for 30 hours, guess what? You've just made four months payment on that machine. Can you see where moving up to a Bobcat eventually is the right choice? You've gotta decide which piece is right for you and grow incrementally, one piece of equipment at a time. Don't be afraid to give it a go. Buy the equipment at the right price. Don't overpay. Analyze the market. Make sure you're getting the piece of equipment at the bottom dollar. Worst case scenario, you sell it and you got experience under your belt that you can put on a resume. Hope that helps out. Have a good one. Some of you are probably wondering who the heck I'm shouting at in the background. This is her. Gracie the African Grey, the chatterbox that won't shut up when she knows she should. She loves waiting till I'm recording something or I'm on the phone and then just off she goes. But as soon as I don't need, you know, I don't care, go ahead and make all the sounds you want, nothing. Not a word out of her. Have a good one.